Good afternoon students and welcome to a quick update on the New Zealand crosses. Uh, my name is Gary Fickard, Director of Trading here at Market Traders and I really want to bring your focus in on the New Zealand crosses. Uh, interesting things are starting to happen at the moment right now. In fact, today we're going to have a news report that's going to come out in the next 45 minutes and the news report is going to be uh, the unemployment rate. They expect the unemployment rate to rise to 4.1 percent now obviously if the number comes out different we'll have a different respond but the thing is what's important to realize is that fundamentals and technicals if they don't line up then it's pretty pretty much uh, you know, clear to everyone that we should rather stand on the sideline and not do anything and wait for the news to come out and then trade after that but a lot of the times when the news and the technicals start lining up together it's time to start paying attention. Now, um, as I said, that the, uh, uh, the data that is expected out at 4.45 today is that the, uh, the rate, uh, the unemployment rate is going to rise from 3.9% to 4.1%. What does that mean? It means that we're going to start seeing a weaker New Zealand dollar. Now, the technicals have to prove to us that yes, that's what we're expecting. Then if we have that confirmed, it's time to start looking to go ahead and you know uh, uh, you know sell New Zealand currency now if we sell in New Zealand currency what does that mean that means that the euro New Zealand dollar is going to rally so if we're going to see some weakness because traders are going to sell off the New Zealand dollar if we're going to see some weakness in the New Zealand dollar then that means let's take a look at all the different crosses against the New Zealand dollar and see if the technicals are lining up with the fundamentals all right so what we're going to look for is a weak New Zealand dollar. Now, if we take a look over here on the daily, I've got a daily chart set up right here. Take a look at how the markets have set up a wave structure. Yeah, we have the market going ahead and creating a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, and now we've gone ahead and pulled back. <clears throat> so what we're looking for right here is we're looking for a larger A B correction. All right, and so this whole move that we have from here to here is what we see from here to here and now this move right here from here to there okay is going to be this wave that we've seen right here that's going to create this type of move right here okay so this is what we're expecting market to move up come down and now to rally back up again <clears throat> so what does that mean that means New Zealand uh, euro New Zealand dollar is going to expect some rally now we can go ahead and draw some trend lines in and the trend lines look something like this and we can see a nice little bearish channel as the market gone here and created this large AB boundary we see a channel going up that's going to be breached all right we're gonna break through this channel and the market is gonna go ahead and start rallying that's what's gonna happen that's what we expected <clears throat> so what are we saying right here we're saying that New Zealand is going to weaken and we're gonna see a euro New Zealand dollar rally all right now that's one setup right here and you can see at the top, at the bottom right here, we can see that market starting to show some bullish sentiment. All right, big bullish candle taking place right here. Right, if it follows up with another bullish candle, then we can have some bullish rally taking off. Let's go to another currency pair. Let's let's go to the pound pound New Zealand dollar right here. This is the daily time frame of the pound New Zealand dollar. Again, if we take a look over here, yeah, we had the market moving down south. Now we're in this correction. Now, this correction may not be as, as big as what the Euro New Zealand dollar is, but the market has fallen, and now we're looking for a retracement back up again before it falls back down. So pound New Zealand dollar is also, just before the news comes out, we're expecting pound New Zealand dollar also to start pushing up and start rallying. All right, so another setup right here that we could expect to happen pretty soon. Let's go take a look at the the next uh, pair right here. I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna pull up a. Uh, let's go to uh, New Zealand Canadian. All right, New Zealand Ca Canadian daily time frame opened up right here just to get the overall picture. Now, what are we expecting? We're expecting weaker New Zealand. We're expecting this pair to go in fall. Well, check this out. See how the market's created this wave one, wave two, wave three. This is wave four right here, which is typically consolidation. We're at the top right here. 
So what am I expecting? I'm expecting to fall past this level right here, come all the way down to the 127 right here, around about 88.23. So I'm expecting uh, New Zealand CAD to start falling south. Now remember traders, if I'm wrong, then we'll have to look at the alternative, right? But if, if everything lines up, if the technicals do line up bearish for the New Zealand dollar and the fundamentals are pushing towards being bearish, then we could see this unfold over the next few days. In fact, it's going to take place in the next 45 minutes. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next currency pair. And I'm going to go, uh, once again go to the crosses. And I'm going to take uh, New Zealand US dollar. And let's take a look and see if that shows a bearish possibility. Well, it started off very early yesterday. Take a look right here. We've seen a big bearish move right here. And look, once again, it comes up all the time. Here we go. Wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, and wave 5. What happens? Market's on a downward move, right? This is an A, B, C correction. So we're going to come back down a little, bit, a little bit deeper. We may even just be a little bit consolidated. But let's just take a look at the short term right here. The short term says, hey, price is looking to uh, go further down south. And if this is the case, if this is true, and this swing that we've seen right here, price, if this comes back down, which it has already come back down below that low, it's going to chase after this support level right here. So if anything, we see a little bit of bounce out. It's going to be a very slight bounce and a continuation of the downside move. But what is this telling us again? It's telling us that we've seen New Zealand dollar weakness. Now remember this, New Zealand dollar is traded against different currency pairs. So, so in all the currency pairs that the New Zealand dollar is traded against, we're still seeing the front runner being the New Zealand dollar. That's what's really dominating the direction on all the crosses. So when we look at the data and we see that the unemployment rate is going to rise to 4.1%, uh, we've got to believe that that has been somewhat discounted into the marketplace. And if it comes out any lower than that, or sorry, it comes out any higher than that, then we could see a lot more bearish movement in the New Zealand dollar. And if the number comes out uh, a little bit less than what they expect at 4.1%, uh, then this move may slow down and we may start seeing some consolidation, maybe a little bit of small correction, a little small stronger correction on the, uh, on the New Zealand dollar. But then eventually the overall trend will take place again and we'll see a continuation of the fall of the New Zealand dollar. Well, traders, this is it. You know, it's great to be able to take fundamentals and take technicals and put them together. And when they make sense, when they're in the same direction, it's time to start thinking about getting involved. Thank you for your time. This is FX Big Dog, and I wish you peace, joy, and successful trading. Until next time, happy trading.